Hey look everyone, it's Han Solo's face. Welcome back to Star Wars Outlaws. Everything will be fine. Everything will be Force fine. Dead, we adapt. Yes, correct. We get can't get off the Java's planet, but that's races. fine. Get off Tatooine and we'll figure out what to do next. Pretty right. much. That's yeah. fine. Even though I said we were hopefully going to go to another planet in this episode, it looks like we're stuck on Tatooine for now because we have to work for Jabba the Hutt. Therefore, we're going to go exploring a little more and see what else this planet has to offer, apart from lots and lots of sand. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> Imperial territory now. Oh, that's right. We're stealing something from the Empire, I believe. I'm just climbing up here. You can't see me. It's fine. We're probably going to end up infiltrating that Imperial base. Pretty sweet though. Look, the Empire's built an entire base into the side of the mountain here. We're going to infiltrate. Yep. Look with the binoculars. I'm pretty sure they saw me climb up here, but I think it's all good. I figured working with you was a little better than running from that slug my whole life. Just get in there, get the info on the mall, and get out. There's a lot of Imperials. Let's just say the entire base is covered in Imperials. Dude, Nick's can actually go like quite a way away, which is good. Is that Stormtrooper gonna notice that that just got broken? Nope. Nick's just ran past him and he didn't see. You see, they can't even see out the helmet. That's an ATST. Definitely want to avoid that if possible. Oh no. Did not see you. I'm so sorry. Can you go trigger that? There we go. Okay, things are definitely going south. Override lock. Quickly, I'm being shot at. Quickly. Are we clear? I, I love that this person didn't hear that. That's so convenient. Thank goodness. All good. Use key card. We found the elevator. Let's go. Up, up, and away. We've only killed like five Imperials so far. I think we're doing okay. Oh, okay. There was nothing. You didn't see anything. Nope. Oh, no. They didn't hear me. It's fine. Yes, this is definitely the place. I'm so glad everyone's always preoccupied with their screens and never looks at me. Oh, no! Spoke too soon. <laughs> Derek Basher here. With the Empire. I want to know about it. You're just a bounty hunter, Vin. You're not even one of us. What do you mean I'm not one of you? you We're here? all together on, on this. Mission from Slero. Oh, yeah? That's funny. So am I. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Did he not see that coming? I feel like he, he could have anticipated getting shot then, but just saying. I suggest keeping your blaster ready. Already done. My blaster is ready. Thank you, ND5. I appreciate he's on my side. ND5's cool, man. Commando droid out of nowhere, wearing the trench coat. Up. Oh. Weapon slight mel weapons malfunction. Okay, there's probably going to be an ATSC out here somewhere. I just want to state that for the record, that we're probably about to encounter the biggest enemy, apart from the Rancor, that we've come across so far. I'm rather enjoying the gunplay, if I'm being totally honest. We've disabled the alarm. Oh, great. We're wanted now as well. Wonderful. Yep, we're good. Oh, she's just, like, chilling here on a speeder bike. All right, we're making our escape. This is pretty sweet. Jump. Oh, boy. Oh, because they've blocked the things. Ah. <laughs> Decent. Very, very bad. Am I going this way? Am I going the right way even? Too far. Dude, I'm trying to go the right way. Six seconds. I don't know which way is the right way. I lost her because I got knocked off my bike. Bro. No. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Dude, the bike gameplay is still challenging. It's still pretty tricky. Oh, crap. Yep. Okay. That didn't work. It's cool the Empire puts those down. Whoa. You see that speeder crash? That's like that barricade from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series where the Stormtrooper gets sliced in half on. It's fine. Oh, my goodness. I guess it's giving me that uh, Jedi Survivor um, vibe when that when Cal uh, chases after Bode on the speeder bike. I think that's what happens anyway from memory. You're going to tell me what really happened back there with your little friend? Yeah, tell us. About. I'm talking about your boss uh -huh. making a deal with the Empire. Stop. Huh. Guess he doesn't trust you as much as you think. That's enough. Oh, she's she's feeling emotional and disappointed about it because she's been betrayed by her own boss. You're just a gun for hire. What did you expect? Hola. No answer. Hola. Something's wrong. <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh, it's we're this bloke. Here. Where are your guys? Bib Fortuna, <laughs> mate. Free chin bib for Truna. You were followed. We lost them, bro. She's right, we're clear. How would you know? This looks like the perfect location to have a gunfight with the Empire. Oh my god. Okay. Dude, the shot there's a shuttle coming to land? That's actually so sweet. Open fire. Oh, bull, 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 bull. <laughs> I guess you can shoot from behind cover and it's just Less accurate. Don't call back up. Oh, he threw a grenade. Run. Ah. Oh, there's blasters here. Yeah, let me get one of these. Why am I using my own gun? Oh, okay. Cut team. <laughs> ATSD. Dude, look at all the storm. How are we going to survive it? There's no way we're surviving. There's two of us. Look at the blaster marks on the wall. That's so cool. Just keep coming. What the hell are we supposed to do? <laughs> oh, she got shot. Oh, no. Bell's going to die. We're not getting out of this. 
How do you know? Hey, we'll be fine. We got this. Yeah, yeah, we got this. Dude, she's so like um positive. I like her positive attitude, you know, in the, even when facing severe adversity. Bro, you're gonna get shot. What are you doing? Put your head up. Okay, she's very foolish. Bro. Please stop. Okay. <laughs> Oh, pretty badass. Yeah, yeah, get wrecked. Come on, let's go. Bro, grab her arm. Come on, get on the ship. Okay, let's go. We're fine. Everything's fine. And we make our great escape. Ah, Sliro. Jagrandio Jabba. Oh, yeah, slime ball. The mighty Jabba sends his apologies. But he does not deem you worthy of his time. <laughs> I'm sure he's really apologetic. Just as I had hoped. Uh oh. The agent I planted in your ranks is dead, I presume. Correct. It was foolish to think such a spy would go unnoticed. It was indeed. It's cool Bib Fortuna's playing a big role in this. Unnoticed? I expected you to catch him long ago. Well, that didn't happen, did it? Now I see the cracks in your organization. Yes. Okay, thank you. So you came all this way to gloat? No. What a pants man. you an offer, Fortuna. Work with me. Oh, interesting. And I can help you take that palace for yourself one day. Really? Are they going to explain that? <laughs> because, I mean, Bib Fortuna does eventually take over and then gets killed by Boba Fett, right? After Jabba's death. Tell me what you know about k -Vess. He's so interested in k -Vess. She's just like a, a girl with a gun. That's like all she is. Thief. The spy has been dealt with. Your debt is paid. Thanks, Jabba. I appreciate it. So we can go off world now, but we will speak again. I know. I want to work for you, bro. I want to be on your good side. Thanks, buddy. Yes. Good. <laughs> so, uh, we doing this? Yeah, let's go. Fight. <laughs> That's kind of I'm not fun. really in the mood. I'll be back for you, Kay. Oh, yeah? I bet. Why can't we be friends, Vale? I just saved your life like multiple times. Why can't we be friends? I'm still wanted. Oh no, it's fine. Just sent us a message. He has a job for us. Bib Fortuna has a job for us. Everyone wants to work with me. Our run-in with Jabba meant that he is looking to collect past debts. I would do oh, okay. this myself. But sure. He specifically mentioned your name. You see, Jabba wants Wait, to work with me as well. Do you owe Jabba money? Yes. <laughs> He's gonna tell me what you did? Everyone owes Jabba money. Later. It's so good. So I'm saving everyone, it seems, because everyone owes Jabba money. Just saying. Trend Ocean ship mechanic is in Mos Eisley Market is known to sell black market turrets. I should probably go do that and also go improve my blaster skills and my slicing skills. There's also a um, the zappy thing that I want to unlock. Where can I get that? Smoke got bomb compressor. Dude, there's so much to do. All right, I kind of want to upgrade K a bit more before we continue on the main journey. Let's go do this hot fixer thing because we're like right here. We've still like barely spent any time in space. It is quite a pretty game. I have to be honest. A lot of people are kind of a bit worried about it visually, especially with some of the, the small kind of weird graphical things that were going on. I don't know, man. It looks pretty good to me. Hey, any chance you could mod a turret onto an EML 850? 850, huh? Sounds stolen. Is that a problem? And, yes, is no, that a problem? Really, I don't care. But with the Empire all over this town, I can't afford to do jobs for criminals. Try the Jawas. The speeder techs down in Bestine trade with them all the time. They'll set you up. Dude, the Jawas are gonna fix that turret. That's actually so cool. Also, just wanna say, like, would the Empire ever arrest a Jawa? Because they're kind of just nomads. Like, they do their own thing, they live in their own place, right? While we're in town, though, I just wanna go speak to the other person as well. Gunslinger, here, this one. Because I'm pretty sure they're right nearby before we go outside. Maybe we can get both of these missions done at once and upgrade both our ship and our blaster at the same time. I need that zappy thing as well. I don't know where you get the, um... There's supposed to be a zappy, uh, like a stun baton thing that you can get to take out the Gamorrean guards. You probably saw previously how overwhelmed I was by the Gamorrean guards because you can't take them down unless you have that thing. Silent takedown, I'm talking about. All right, we're back in the cantina. Hey, boys, what's going on? Save me a drink. You're looking for a fight? Nope, just want to talk to the best. As long as you're just talking. Yeah, we're See just talking. Chef over there by the band. She's an old timer, knows everyone. Ask her. Thank you, I will. Oh, I just realized the band's here. That's crazy. What band is it? Pretty sweet. Okay. Hello. Are you Shep? 
I heard you know all the best gunslingers around here. Oh, sure. Let's see. There's Mick Dryfo. He's dead. Walk the knife. <laughs> also um, dead. She's dead. The Tejo twins. Dead. Dead? You, you know Hoss? Yeah, also dead. Uh, yeah. He, he's dead. Laughter hands don't last long out here. There was that one pirate who used to run with the hut cartel. She might still be kicking. Do you know where I can find her? The huts up in the southern hills might know. Doubt they'd ever tell you. Okay, yeah. how do you know? Well, thanks anyway. There's a shop. What can I buy here? Oh, outfit. Superior chest. Greatly increases ability to avoid detection. Interesting. So it's literally thief gear. That looks kind of good. I kind of want to spend my money on that. Hey, how much money do I have? 4,600. So I'm basically like spending half my money to buy that. Also, if it, if it allows us to avoid detection, yeah, let's get it. So this item actually has gameplay effects. I believe you can uh, interchange them. There you go. A new jacket with some actual abilities that does something. These salt flats go on forever. They do. Dude, look at the view. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's strange to imagine there was an ocean here once. What? You know Cantobites on a big man-made ocean? <laughs> they say all the seawater evaporating is what makes the sunset so purple. Huh. I wonder if it'll look like this someday. There you go, Tatooine was previously once a water planet and then became a barren desert. Dude, look at Tatooine at night, it's stunning. Don't let looks deceive you. I've been working and living off this land for 50 cycles. The hut I lost it to is gonna let it rot away. They don't care about farming. The huts have the deed? Hmm. I'm in good with them. I can talk to them. Really? You you do that? <laughs> you can find them playing in Bestine. And if I do, you give me a cut of your moisture profits. I can always sniff out an opportunity. Winning the deed, okay. So we got a side quest, but I feel like this is, if not Luke's home, it's a very similar home to Luke's home. <gasps> this is it. This is it. This is 100% it, right? I'm pretty sure this is it. With that ceiling, it's th that that's the tell, right? That's that's how, that's the ceiling in the dining room. What the heck? They put it in the game. Okay, we have to come back here in the daytime. To be fair though, there's others that look really similar. So maybe we could go check all these out. There's a bunch out here that look a lot like the Lars Homestead. I feel like this is it though. Let's see if this is it over here. Perhaps it's this one because it's being raided. We did it. I heard your call for help. I'm glad you did. I hope you got some fight left in UK because there's more coming. Oh, great. Really? Hey guys. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Oh my God, that is so much fun. Oh, come on. <laughs> Are we good now? I think we survived, right guys? I'm mean, just gonna collect the stims. Huts only help when it's good for Java. I Here. guess I'm kind of a hut now. We don't have much, I? but take this as our thanks. Oh, thanks. Cash money? Cash money? $500? Sweet ass, thank you. I like where, how we're like completely sidetracked now. We're not even following main objectives or anything. We're doing side missions. We're not even doing side missions. We're literally just exploring the map, being like, yeah, bro, this could be the Luke one because this has things on the ceiling as well. It doesn't feel like it. Oh yeah, he has like the droid room and everything though as well. Maybe that. Maybe you just can't open that. Maybe that's behind one of the doors. All these places look the same though. I didn't realize Luke's moisture farm was the same as a, a bunch of other moisture farms. I thought it was like a couple custom job. Clearly I'm wrong. Okay, that looks like a T-16. Is that? Hang on. Fine. Tosh it is. It's Toshi Station. Oh my god, guys. Okay, we have to go up and have a look. See if Biggs is around. Biggs is dead. Sorry, by this point in the timeline. Biggs Darklighter, the guy with the moustache, who was Luke's bestie. Okay, Toshi Station. I did not get any power converters that I'm aware of, but we have now successfully been to Toshi Station. I kind of want to explore here. Place Waypoint and see if that's Luke's home, because that's the only one we haven't been to. It has to be this one, right? Because it's like built into the earth like that. And they have the crater in the ground. Yeah, and this is the room with all the things on the ceiling. This is the closest thing in the game to it that I can find so far anyway. All right, I'm saying this is Luke's home. I'm saying this is Lars Homestead. Do we do we, do we want to go here, guys? It's like literally the other side of the map, but I kind of want to go exploring there. Okay, so down there in that desert, I reckon is where we're going to find the Sarlacc pit. What do you guys think? This definitely looks like the desert from Return of the Jedi, right? Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Great dragon! Um, oh my god! <laughs> Whoa, okay! Dude, that is so cool! Oh my goodness! I love that they've put this in the game. That is unbelievably cool. Whoa, my gosh! 
That is unreal. Look at that. Tatooine is amazing. I love it here. I love what they've built here. I love that there's so much to explore. Love that there's like different, really different sections of the map. Like you, you can really feel the difference and it's all foundational Star Wars stuff. Like it all feels like it's from the films. I like how we've literally today got like very little story done. I'm just like full exploring mode. I can't find the Sarlacc pit yet, but I'm sure it's here somewhere. So perhaps it will uh, reveal itself to us on a story mission or something like that. Oh, it's <gasps> it's a pod racer. Oh my gosh, it's a pod racer. What? This is definitely a pod racer. How sweet is that? What was that doing out here? What is this? They look like the crate dragon bones. It is. Dude, what a sweet Easter egg. This you can actually see in uh, A New Hope when C-3PO and R2-D2 are, are walking around. This is actually a prop that was left in the desert, in the Tunisian desert, where they filmed A New Hope uh, from uh, like a 1975 Disney movie. And then George Lucas decided to use it for A New Hope, which is pretty sweet. And then call it a crate dragon. It was some dinosaur movie. I made a clip about it a little while back from the Clips channel. All right, let's go here. Upgrade this blaster. I heard you're the best shot on the planet. Oh, and you want to be second best. How did you guess? That's now is correct. Not a good time. The huts are coming and I need to get ready. They're coming? Get ready for what? You mean right now? Could be any time. I caught one of their scouts, but he's not talking. I'll be talking plenty once Ordu shows up. Who's Orda? Urda. Urda Tar. Hut underboss. Okay. We used to work together. What happened? They betrayed that I was betrayed. I just took he turned to the dark side. But now, a bunch of innocents are being dragged into it. You don't want to mess with Erda. The man fights like a wild massive. I sure. I a rancor. Massives are nothing. Ha ha ha, true. Right. Need to get those barricades up and then we'll see about target practice. Cool, you're going to teach me some moves. Let's go, upgrade my blaster abilities. I'll become the greatest shot in the galaxy. Straight out of a western. It's the vibe we're going for here. Here we go. Whoa, clean. Oh, I'm gonna get some real target practice. You guys like explosive, right? Get the explosive barrels, we good, we're gonna survive, it's fine. Oh, I just I just shot you, I'm sorry, sorry. I don't remember your name though. Oh, dogs, no, no, okay. Straight up, all right, come, come okay. <laughs> I like how you can stun them, like they just get electrified. So good. And get wrecked, haha. -ha. Straight up standoff. Who are you? I'm her deputy. For now. You want to die first? Fine by me. Oh, everyone. <laughs> so we just upgraded. I think we're upgrading that then. I think we're upgrading our quick draw. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Dead eye ability. You're quite the shot, King. Yes, I am. Just be careful who you point your blaster at. Might come back around on you someday. Jawas will sell its hearts to anyone, and the speed attacks in Bestine can point K in the right direction. Where is the sand crawler at? Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> Off the cliff, love it. She'll put a turret anywhere if you give her a tooth. Oh yeah, the Salak okay, tooth. The intrusion, but I sense that, you this is it. I'm not giving her a this tooth. This is the infamous IGN <laughs> mission. <laughs> But you need cocaine, my John. No, not your tooth. A sarlacc tooth. One from his second <laughs> mouth. Nick's nodding, second it's so mouth. cute. Oh, uh, you won't take credits? Republic credits? I'm a Titarian. She says, if you won't pay for breakfast, you can eat sand for free. A Jawa proverb. No, no, I, I get it. I I'll <laughs> get the tooth. Okay, there's enemies here already. Oh my goodness. It's a giant hole in the ground. Are we supposed to just like slide in? Yep, looks like it. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea how we're going to get out of here. We just keep sliding down. Also, doesn't the acid burn us? There's some droid holding the truth. Looks like a High Republic droid or something. It looks old. Oh, jeez, a grenade. Did that look better than the IGN explosion? Kind of risky that they'd use a explosive like that. Okay, it's just one of them. Can I shoot the other guy or no? Yes, I can. Get wrecked. And that's my tooth, thank you very much. How dare you try and steal that from me. Those are getting impatient. How can you tell? Uh, okay. <laughs> Hello, Jawa. I brought you your tooth. 
speaks Joey's. Yes, indeed. Oh well, you've got heaps of them. Good, right? Do I have the turret now? Then yes, turbo laser acquired. I kind of want to go work for the huts. I think is what we're gonna do, and then we'll go do the main storylines. So let's go and hang out with Bib Fortuna because I'm pretty sure. He's got something sketchy he wants to set us up with. And then we'll go from there. My reputation with the huts is poor, so let's go and prove it with Bib Fortuna. Hopefully he's going to get us some good rep with the huts. I just want to spend a little bit more time on Tatooine before we go off world. Bib Fortuna, where are you, buddy? Jabba's second in command, who seems like he's going to betray Jabba. Oh, it's Bib. Bibbidi bobbidi boobidi. Standing there with your creepy hands and your gloves, your fingerless homeless gloves. You didn't need our help. After all, you had that ship. Yeah, but you nearly you tried to kill me. The trailblazer was. Why didn't he use capable pilot? Our Convoy have been disappearing on the Tashara run. Okay, so we're doing some piloting stuff. Finally. Less so every day. Well, all right, let's do it. You have your pilot. Good, the convoy is already in orbit. Cool, man. We're doing a space mission. Oh boy, Bib Fortuna, bro. Our ships are waiting. Be quick about. Yeah, dude, I'm doing it. I'm taking. I'm taking down the fleet. I'm trying. Defend the freighters. What type of ships are we shooting down? Those are pike ships. Pikes, there you go. I don't know what we're retrieving. We're like looting stuff in space. It's pretty sweet though. Space mission. Ah, nope, that one's destroyed. Oh, keep getting prompted to retrieve. Also, I can't read the Hutties because I'm flying and I don't really want to crash. How do you guys rate the space combat? What do you think? I've got a lock. Get wrecked. Again, boom. <laughs> Defeat the remaining pikes. So we're going to be in bad uh, credibility with the pike syndicate after this, I guess. Goes up and down with everyone. Travel to Toshara orbit. To Toshara, we're going back. Oh, uh, it's Gorak. Ships, You're back. Gorak. I'm working. Do you have any idea what the Silicax of that convoy is worth? <laughs> I promised you, I'll double it. Okay, my reputation with the pikes is already really bad. I kind of want to stay good with the huts. We can't keep yo-yoing between. Okay, we're in fast travel mode. That's cool. You can just press it once and you, you continue traveling at this speed. Rogue class hostile gunships. Oh, it's fine. We'll help take him out. We're here to save the day. Cave us again. Oh, they, that's like a bigger ship. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's one of those pike ships. Oh, gosh. I can't believe I crashed. Turns out space combat is actually kind of tricky. We're on fire again. ND5, can you repair the ship, please? Do something. Make yourself useful, please. I wish these ships would fly faster. That one's like completely on fire. We're going to be all right, guys. Oh, my gosh. Th that ship's taking a beating. We did it. Wanted by the Emperor. Really? Why? Oh, boy. So now we're going to fight the Empire as well. At least the TIE fighters don't have shields like the other ships. Oh, dude, the hunt reputation went way up after that mission. That's so good. Okay. And the Pikes is now terrible. So the Pikes hate us, which is fine. We, I mean, we just literally killed a bunch of them. Let's go to Tatooine. Oh, hi oh it's being disrupted. No, no. It's oh, wow. Every time you get hit, it gets disrupted. That's cool. Guys, please leave me alone. Oh, crap. <laughs> Punch it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so escaping the Empire. You have to, um, I guess, yeah, like to jump to light speed, you have to avoid getting hit and basically like be away from them before you're able to jump. That's kind of cool. I like that detail. In the next episode, we are going to go all the way to another planet. So thanks for watching this. I hope you're enjoying the series. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you soon.